I will show you the active and passive components. We have already discussed about the active and passive components. Which are the active components and which are the passive components we have already known. Okay, so the register, inductor and capacitor. These three are the basic passive components okay so we first discussed about the register this is a register this is carbon composition register which is used in our laboratory it has two terminals the unit of the register is ohm okay. so it has two uh, two terminal which has no polarity that means it has no negative and no positive terminal but it has some color value on its body by this color value we measure the register value the specification of this register is the value and the wattage there are several kinds of values registers are available with different wattage like 1 fourth wattage, 1 eighth wattage, 1 wattage and 2 wattage, 2 watt register. So when we used this in our circuit, basically it protects our circuit from the huge amount current flowing. Clear? So next we discuss about the non-polar capacitor. This is non-polar capacitor. The name of this capacitor is ceramic. This is non-polar ceramic capacitor. So the type is non-polar. Name is ceramic. It has also two terminal, but it has no negative and no positive. Clear? It has a value in its body that is in picofarad range. When we use this type of capacitor in our circuit in laboratory, then we convert it into microfarad range. Clear? Now, we discuss about the polar capacitor. This is polar capacitor. It has also two terminal, but one is negative terminal and another one is positive terminal. Okay, so which one is negative terminal? Here the negative sign is available, this side. So near the negative sign, the terminal is negative and the opposite one is positive. Clear? And it has also specification which is noted in its body that is its value in microfarad range or nanofarad range and with the voltage okay so value and the voltage 
are is the specification of the nonpolar capacitor clear so r lc this three are passive components the unit of in the capacitor is farad and the unit of inductor is henry okay so this is complete passive components are complete now okay now we have to discuss the active components okay so this is the diode ordinary pin junction diode okay it has also two terminal one terminal is known as cathode and another terminal is known as anode now which one is cathode here the silver stripe is available in its body so near the silver stripe the terminal is cathode and the opposite one is anode it has also specification by a by a code that is 1n4007 clear so this is the pin junction diode specification 1n4007 clear and its application is as a rectifier and as a switch also okay so it converts the ac current into dc current which is the main principle of the rectifier circuit this is the basic principle of an ordinary pin junction diode clear and this one this is another type of diode that is called zener diode okay it has also two terminal one terminal is anode and another one is cathode now the which one is cathode here also the black stripe is available instead of silver stripe okay so near the black stripe the terminal is cathode and the opposite one is anode okay it has also the specification that is its breakdown voltage that voltage should be 3 volt 6 volt 12 volt as a generation of the zener diode okay see this is the bjt okay so this is bjt bjt full form of bjt is bipolar junction transistor there are two types of bjt one is npn another one is pnp in our lab the npn transistor is used and also the pnp also but the series number is cl100 in case of npn transistor and in case of pnp the number is ck100 it has three terminals name emitter collector and base so now the which one is emitter and which one is collector and which one is base let us identify it okay see here one small section is available this is called notch clear so near notch the terminal is emitter okay and here the another terminal which is directly body connected clear so that is called collector and the remaining one is base so the three terminals that is identified by near notch emitter directly body connected collector and remaining one is base clear and the bjt is application is basically it acts as a switch and amplifier okay so this is a npn type bjt which is used in our laboratory okay and this is fed this is filled effect transistor okay it has also three terminal 
okay name source drain and gate clear there is also a small section known as notch like bjt clear so left of the notch left of the notch the terminal is source and then drain and then gate so left of the notch is source then anti clockwise source drain gate the three terminals are available here source drain gate anti clockwise okay so you first identify the notch then left of the notch that is source and then drain and then gate clear so application of the fat is also as an amplifier okay this is used as a uh, power amplifier or uh, rc coupled amplifier as a rc coupled amplifier the different types of application are there here okay. 